big changes today. Interest rates are going up. Uh, time to fill your boots quick as possible while you still can. Hi, it's Cam from Premier Property and joining me is one of my Don letting agents today, also known as Big J. Hi. <laughs> so we, what we're doing today is actually assessing what has been going on today because there's some big changes today, isn't it, Jay? Well, it certainly is. Right, big changes going on. So one of them, of course, is the interest rate. Interest rate is going up, stepping up, another quarter percent going on. Bank of England now one and a quarter percent. And we were discussing this earlier on, right? So, so Jay's got a big portfolio himself, um, uh, you know, a uh, large portfolio. Like I say, he's the Don in, in one of our areas here. Um, a very good letting agent, by the way. I use these services all the time, sitting in his office here right now. And I thought we have a little chat with you as well. So... Um, in terms of uh, rates going up, uh, what are you what are you doing with your portfolio? Going to try and um, get the the rates capped um, over a longer period. I, I think they're going to keep increasing it. I don't think this is uh, a short thing. Mm. So what, so like uh, in terms of like your, your rates, are you fixing them? Are no, you I'm refinancing? Fix them what, for three years, maybe four years, five right. if possible. Yeah, uh, and I'd agree. So what we're doing is uh, a premier's uh, portfolio wherever we possibly can, uh, we're fixing the rate for five years. It's an insurance policy, isn't it, when you think about it? Um, also what we're doing, so you know, the, the, this particular area is uh, in the Midlands, and um, one of the things that we're doing is we're not necessarily refinancing every single time. So we buy the property, we'll then use our premier property bar system, all about releasing the seed capital. Once you've done that, for the second time, you, you've got no money in, your, in that deal uh, within a given period of time. You can watch this back again, of course. And what you'll find is the second time round, when you think about it, I mean, you know, you could refinance, couldn't you? You could. Yeah. But there, there ain't no great need, is there, really, when you think about it? Yeah. So rather than pay another admin cost uh, and pay another refinancing cost, etc., in an area where price points are lower than £160,000 for a property, for a house, what we're doing is we are jumping into product switches. So right now, it's a case of buy well, add the value, release the money, refinance on a five year if you can. If you're already on a product, what we're then doing is switching it over, which is so cost effective. I mean, have you done, you've done something, haven't you? Switches. I have, yeah. So, I mean, look, the ones we're doing, typically there's no fee. It's literally a phone call or through your mortgage broker. Um, or a couple hundred quid for couple solicitors. Hundred, yeah, exactly. Yeah, a couple hundred, a couple hundred quid for uh, solicitors. And um, uh, that's our model operation. What that means is, your loan to value actually, because you bought well in the first place, your loan to value um, really stays really stable and you've actually dropped your loan to value because as time goes on, we know property prices are going to increase in the right areas, a lot of infrastructure going on. So your loan to value actually in real terms starts to drop as the price of the property increases. The value increases, loan to value drops, and you will find your 75% loan to value becomes 65, becomes 60, becomes 50. So really great way of thinking about how you can really secure what you're doing in the times that we are in right now where there's a, a lot of changes happening. Um, talking about changes, uh, like I say, we've got the Don over here. So uh, more changes happening today, right? Yeah, the government have released the white paper for the changes to um, lots of things that they're going to bring out. Um, they're looking to put a, a separate court in for housing um, to speed up the process confirming um, abolishment of section 21s, um, what reforms are going to put into section 8 now need to be firmed up. Um, landlords are not going to be able to reasonably refuse benefits nor um, tenants with pets. That's always been a, an option with pets. Mm. Um, there's there's lot, lots of changes today, 82 pages that have been um, published online. So um, what are you gonna, what, what's the workaround you're thinking about? Because I'm sure, you, like me, you're thinking about we'll workarounds. Always, right we now. always look at the, the workaround. For us, mm. we don't have issues with benefit tenants. Mm. Probably 50% of the portfolio is benefits. Yeah. Um, That's a good one, actually, because you know, many people, they frown upon benefits, don't they? The local housing allowance tenants and so on, that they're all bad tenants. But actually, they're not, are they? No, and our, our local area is a low-income area anyway, so yeah. the majority of people would be working, supported by benefits. Yeah, um, and um, I'm happy with that. Um, and the way we look at it is, you know, you get the right person in who's going to treat the property like home. It's quite shocking, isn't it, some when you 
I'll be careful what I say, but I won't be careful what I say, I'll just say it. So it's, it's quite shocking that when we visit some of the properties and you see the kind of dire straits yeah. people are living in, I'm, I'm quite shocked by it. So, you know, we give them a good functional home yeah. um, and it's functional, you know, there's it it no frills, but it's nice and clean and everything is in, is in place, all the, all the EICRs are there, the gas certs are there, smoke alarms, all the rest of it. So it's nice and functional and safe. So we provide that accommodation and typically local housing allowance tenants, the way we look at them, they're like a long-term bond. So you get paid by the council, it doesn't go to the tenant, bypass it, and comes to you, tenant lives in the property, happy days. But how about the PATS? What, what we, what we gonna, what's your work around on the PATS? Are you concerned Pats, about the fact that... Um, um, until they publish exactly what they, they're going to enforce, um, mm -hmm. they did mention that tenants would have to take PET insurance. But is that pet insurance to look after the pet or is that pet insurance that's going to cover the, the damage to the property? Until that's published, we don't know. Yeah, into, so I mean, I like to think it's going to be... Yeah, for the property. For the property, yeah. right, rather than... But until they publish, yes. um, stranger things have happened. Mm. So one to look out for, so of course we'll do a video on that as well. See, the thing about all of this is, it's a case of, is your glass half empty or is your glass half full? And what I mean by that is that you know, it means that a lot of landlords in the market right now, it is a, still a heated market in the right areas that they are heated. However, your, the people that are not look, treating this like a business or not upskilling, they are leaving the market. Tired landlords. I mean, what are you finding in terms of like... Um... Yeah, so your older generation landlords mm. um, are selling and the new generation investors are buying. Yeah, uh, and this is it. And... Um, People that are worried and concerned about you know all these things, really you know every each and every one of these points, you you can really uh, mitigate because when you're treating it like a business, it's good to actually have legislation. It's it good is. to have that. I mean, section eight and all of that, section eight and section twenty one coming, you know, uh, section twenty one going and having section eight. When you think about it, it's a business. You're not going to live in that property. You're renting it out. You want your tenants to be renting the property. You want them to be paying rent. As long as they're treating it like a home, they're renting that property, then what do you really care if they um, stay there for as long as they like? Yeah. That's what you want. That's what we want, isn't it? Yeah, it's well, ideal for a long-term tenant. Also, I would say one of the, the biggest ones I find is because you know, people are concerned about legislation and so on, but they, they don't really realise, like I'm saying earlier, um, that there are ways you can mitigate through that. So if you're treating it like a business... Um, there are new changes coming. You know, feel free to watch these videos. I'm going to put this on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, then sub feel free to subscribe. You know, join our community. I'd love to hear from you as well. And uh, in this uh, ra little random rant conversation that we're ha having, uh, which uh, we're just having because we're, we're having it anyway, I thought I'd share with you. Uh, feel free to listen back to it. And there's some key points here um, that you can pick up on. So uh, big changes today. Interest rates are going up. Uh, time to fill your boots quick as possible while you still can before the rates go up too higher. You can still probably invest in property, but if you're looking for the opt-in time, you got it right now. Think about product switches, think about five-year fixes, always get financial advice. We can't give you financial advice, we're just sharing with you what we're actually doing. Uh, think about good letting agents, think about what's coming up with the legislation, how you're gonna find workarounds, and I will keep sharing. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's Cameron Devady and Big J. See you soon.